Hello internet and welcome to the Waffle Comet Plays Other Side Live. If you've been following this uh, series on YouTube, I've decided to move it over to Twitch. Um, mostly because of its uh, rogue roguelike qualities. I think it would be better suited for streaming. Um, just so it doesn't get too repetitious on uh, on YouTube as a series. Uh, okay, we last left off at the end of day six here. We're getting ready to confront the boss. So let's go to the next day. Day seven. Watch for the doctor's scalpel. So I believe we'll have no choice but to confront the boss this time. <coughs> Okay, so we're just checking, checking to see what we have here. I think I, I don't know if our uh, if our characters go away here at the at the end of a recollection. So, but we're 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 gonna find out here. This is kind of a learning experience. I think we're gonna do a lot better against the boss this time. Um, what do we have? We have a couple blade masters. We have several blade masters. We have a shield bearer. We have a low level soul singer. How many people do we get against the boss? So there's two there's two missions we could you we could go to here, but um doesn't seem like we have access to them because we're on day seven. So I guess we'll confront the boss. So they will fall. <coughs> three. We, will. we get three people. Okay, good to know. So who are we going to take? Let's make sure they're at full health. I wish it wouldn't reset my... my sorting here. Like, just, just leave it where I left it. Okay, so we definitely should take... Do we take the two Blade Masters? I think so. And then we take... I think we take this, this Shield Bearer. Which means we'd have to sacrifice one to regenerator. Do we take? A soul singer, though, is the question. Well, we don't really have a high level soul singer. I think we take two blade masters and a shield bearer. I think it's our best bet. What traits do we have? I wonder why she has more hit points. Must be one of these traits. She has no traits. Okay. So I think that maybe we sacrifice Constance for Celeste here. And take her in. Now I... It might seem a little backwards, but she's got way more hit points. She's got tons of traits that are going to be super useful. We also want to try out this uh, memory thing before we get started here. So let's let's go to the let's go to the birthing pool. We're going to regenerate. Is this what we want? Yes. And we will sacrifice. Hmm. I think we want to. What do we say? Constance? Yeah, I think that was it. Alright. This could be a great mistake, we'll see. And we're just jumping right into it. Her sacrifice births another hope. So like I said, we're m we've moved this over from YouTube, but the, the VODs from Twitch will still be going over to YouTube. So you people, no matter, no matter what medium you choose to watch your gaming videos on, it will be available. All right, let's, let's figure out how these memories work. Let's go back. Let's resort our dudes. Let's see what we got. 
Let's see here. Okay, so our slash. So how does this work? This is interesting. 20% or 55. I feel like the 20% is probably better. Let me think. If we do what, like 1,000 damage or 1,100 damage, 20% of that's what? 200 some? 230. <coughs> so it's better than the 55. Target attacks five initiative units later. So that delays the enemy, I guess, if we hit with it. Decrease the target's armor by 40 points. That could be useful. <coughs> Add an attack, dealing 80 base damage. This attack can't crit adds an additional attack. That's interesting. Increase the critical chance of a skill by 5%. Okay, and then we don't really have these yet. Okay, so let's try let's, let's start with the drill. Okay, back. Imbued blade. Imbued blade. Um, increase the damage of a skill by 50. Okay, so let's decrease the target's armor by 40 points for that one, and then lightning strike. What can we do with this? Hmm. Let's do the additional attack. Why not? Okay, who else are we taking? We'll take Miracle with us. We'll do the same kind of thing here. Okay. We can increase her critical. This uh, five initiative units later, that I bet that proves useful at some point. But I don't know if that's quite what we want for this, for her main attack. Let's try... Let's try the increased critical. These are the same skills, so let's... Okay, imbued blade, let's increase that by... 20% lightning strike hmm and we'll increase the critical chance okay who else who else is going Celeste the shield bearer she got 304 initiative push resistance Uh, health 300 plus 304 initiative push resistance plus 1%. Some punctuation would be helpful there. Uh, all right, go back to your skills. I think she's the one we're taking. So her lunge. Increase the damage of a skill by 50. Let's let's increase it by 55. Or slam. These don't do. These don't have a ton of effect. Ton of effects, but that's that's okay. Critical chance increased by five, and shield bash. Let's add the additional attack. Okay. We're good. I wonder if we get those back. All right, let's confront. We must break the tie that binds the, the child surgeon. to suffering. Yeah, I get it. We will select our daughters. Okay, Miracle, Candidus, and Celeste. All right, we got a dream team here. Let's go. Let's do it.
We must prepare to pay any price. Wonder if there will be additional bosses. I mean, there there must be, right? Yet again, you interrupt crucial work. Okay. So the last time we fought this guy, it went terribly. A monument to science, to saving lives. Any cause. All right, there's our big dude there. These four guys exist only to buff the boss. So we gotta kill them first. Which means we gotta stay the heck away from the surgeon. I think that we may want to consider just straight up bull rushing at least one of them. Because it seems like she'll be pretty f far away. Maybe this. Oh, wait, there's one right here. Okay, alright, let's take care of him. Let's make it easier on ourselves here. Smash him. Yeah, he didn't make it. Lawless. But she has bursted, so maybe we move her back. Let's move her back. There we go. Alright, end turn. Celeste. Okay. I think it's very important that we stay spread apart until we're ready to attack the surgeon. Send her turn. We don't want everyone to burst in this round. That could prove disastrous. Okay, move her up into the action. Same thing. So yeah, these three guys are going to go straight for him. So yeah, these guys make him basically undamageable. Oh, and this action has a range too, so we really need to be careful. But we're coming into this battle armed with knowledge. I think here, let's just let's just pause for just a moment while I adjust my camera. Because it's kind of not in... Uh, I mean, it's not really blocking much at all, but there could be some enemy information that is getting blocked by my... Let's see, wait, let me switch out of that. Uh, here? Not here, that'll br block the initial part. Oh my god, my face is such a train wreck. Let's see. Yeah. That looks good. That'll have to do. Um, okay. Back to studio mode. Okay. All right. We're now we're really ready. Okay. So they've all gathered around him, and that's troublesome. A range fighter would be good here. These guys don't have tons of hit points, but they, she, the soul singer, doesn't do. She's not a damage unit. She's like a, a reaction unit. It's one of the things I find a little bit... Slightly... It's like the, the first real major flaw I've seen with this game. Um, you know, I love this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I anticipate having many hours of fun with this game. But we're on day seven. I don't know if we keep these players with us or not when we go to the next recollection, but they made a whole big thing about, you know, these interrupt actions, and I have seen exactly one, one skill that allows that to happen, so, you know, a little more variety, or, uh, you know, a little more focus on some of those mechanics might be fun, but uh, either way, it's still, I'm still having fun with the game, I don't want to disrespect other side because that's not what I'm trying to do at all all right we're just moving these these lovely young ladies out of the way here all right he's getting armored up again oh 
goodness gracious. You know what I've done? We're going to pause. So we, we're going to just make a quick pause. I forgot to update the title of my stream. So let's do that real quick. So that people don't think I'm still watching the Season 5 of The Expanse. Uh, what do we call this? Late Night Strategery. Other side. I love it. Okay. Let's reload that so I know it. Okay. Rookie mistake. That's like the easiest thing to do to get people to watch your stream and I just just plain didn't do it. Alright, so now we now we can continue. People on YouTube would be like, what are you doing? Idiot. Uh let's see. Okay. Spread these guys out. And turn. Okay, he's getting armored up. They're just they're all staying real close to him and that's that's gonna be scary. Because we need to kill those guys. They know exactly what they're doing. But if we okay, so we can bait him, that might work. I think it's extremely important as well that we really this is bad. Bad news, bad news. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Last time we did this fight, we had like level one and two characters. So, the fact that she was able to take that hit and not have it not like cripple her was a surprise, a pleasant surprise. Okay, so this is our chance. If we move all the way out here, we'll have no action points left. So. And they're all going to get turns, too. Candidus. Candidus. So we, I think we need... Okay. So we did bait him. That that plan worked. So let's move her back up here. Okay. Well, they're moving back in close to him. Don't do it. Oh, she's not going to get up there. That's okay. If we stay within outside of bursting range, I think that will help us a lot. I think it's really important that we do not burst our characters in this fight. Good. Okay. I'll take this. I'll accept that. Oh, he still did the devotion. Did he just cheat? Did we just become best friends? Okay, so we get in here, right? She already took some damage from this guy. I think, can she take him out? She can. I think she can, but we're going to probably burst her to do it. Yeah, we're definitely going to burst her. Clean cut. Nice. Oh, he survived. No, he didn't. Okay, he's done. He's done in rings. All right, she's already bursted, so we get her out of the way. Get the heck out of the way there. Okay, end your turn. Okay, this guy's exactly where I want him to be. She's going to get a turn. When does he get a turn? After, after Candidas. Okay, so this will be a little bit risky. But she hasn't taken any damage yet, so that's good. She's going to kill him in one hit. Oh, she's bursted too. We knew that was going to happen. Whatever we can to prevent okay, this get out torture. of the way. Jump back. Here. There we go. Okay, he's losing his armor. This is what we want. Slash him. You can't stop progress. Yes, okay. 
Oh, he took out his cronies. Palliative care. What is this? What did he just do? Okay, he's got no armor. He's got 7,000 hit points. Okay. That's, uh... Not very fair, sir. Alright. She'll be my one character that's not first at this round. He's gonna get a turn. What's he doing? Self-medication. Initiative boost. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's a delayed action? Okay. That wasn't terrible. We need to get her the heck out of there. What is he doing? What the heck was that? Alright, what's... what is... what's happening down here? I'm sorry, I gotta switch to the mouse for a minute. What's this? The surgeon. Increase resistance to delays by 30 for 150 initiative, I guess? And deals up to 300 damage to any daughter that attacks him with a melee attack. That's horrific. Okay, so this all went south pretty quick. <laughs> um, we can't get to him this turn. And really, I, I mean, should we wait 150 initiative? That's three rounds. Um... We do got some... Okay. Is it count as a melee attack if we use the... Okay, so imbued blade I don't think would count as a melee attack. I mean, I guess it is, but it's got like a range, so would it still hit? This has a range of five, but it'll bring her right to him. Well, we can't really get to him anyway, so... Okay, let's just let's just get her up here for now. We'll start there. Okay, and I feel like he's just gonna keep doing that every turn. Now what's he doing? Don't come near me. Whoa. Coop therapy. I really went with the. Uh, what kind of doctor is this guy? Because he's, he's, in one way or the other, he's exiting his scope of practice here. What do we got here? Okay, she's not really going to get a chance to do anything unless we really bull rush the guy. And I don't think that that's smart, but he's going to keep moving out of the way. So do we, do we cluster? I don't know, but whatever we're doing right now is not working. So let's switch up our tactics here. Let's get some hits. We can get some hits on the guy. Finally. Slash him up. Oh no. This is so bad. Let's just get some hits. Okay, so that's going to continue to go off every time he gets hit. Let's get her the heck out of here. Run. Hmm. You go, go in for a hit and then run? 27 AP. Slash him. Ooh, that was a good bit of damage. Okay. I think we go for another hit. I think we have to. And we can get out of range. Good. Those are good hits. She took some good hits too. So we don't have enough hit points to actually deal enough damage to this guy. She's stuck. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. She has fallen. Okay, 
this ability is ridiculous. Come on, I just survived for one turn. Did he use the self medication? We have to try. I mean, it's not like we can't hit him. Hmm. Okay. Just, just do it. Just end this nightmare. There it is. All right, she's dead. She doesn't have any hit points. Oh, she's not even gonna get an attack. Nope. Oh. That was brutal. Well, you know, I, I feel like that went better than the last time we fought this guy. Because the last time we didn't even deal damage to him. Uh, we did kill four dudes. It means nothing. Oh, those, those, fall, those poor... Rise again. Our poor daughters are going to the cemetery. I was going to do a, a, a big Lebowski bit Last there. Suffering is born. They're going to kill we that poor woman, but they already we have killed lost. them. I have nothing more to give. So we begin again. So what, do we just take three soul singers into that fight and just stay the heck away? Okay. So we lost. We, we knew that was going to happen. Do we, we lose our daughters, don't we? Well, this... Okay, so this is a learning experience. That's okay. Each time we do this, we'll learn more. Uh... Okay. They survive six. So I guess that's the really the most unless we win. We got a lot of gems now, that's good news. Is that no wait, is that not equipped? Activate? Or do we just reactivate everything? We got tons of shards. Alright, all daughters gain plus fifteen percent max health points. We'll use this as well, minus 25% VP to equip memories. That'll help us now that we've figured out that mechanic. Resurrect a fallen daughter, definitely. All daughters gain plus 15 damage to cultists. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Heart of Clay, all daughters gain 50% damage to nightmare creatures. They're all nightmare creatures. They're going to have to be more specific than that. Okay, so we have activated all of our current remembrances that we have available to us and still have 125 shards left. I feel like that's good, right? Is that good? Validate. The Age of Shattering. Alright, back to the start. Ooh, what's that? That's new. It's not going to tell me what it means. That's okay. We don't need it. Inner Void. Okay. We have lost... all of our stuff. Bomber. Okay, and, and now we know certain things, like we don't need to keep all our daughters, but at the same time it's like the ones that get to be higher level lose all their hit points and then the ones lower level can't be used to heal the the, 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 the higher level ones. So it's a weird juggling act. I think it's I think maybe what we do is have like a set of each and then like not have what did I have? Like 10, 12 daughters at one time? I don't think that that's very cost effective. 
so we just keep everyone at the same level and see if we get to a high enough level that we can kill that guy. But I have no idea how that's going to happen with that ability. That's banana hammocks. Okay, let's, uh, ooh, can we resurrect somebody? Yeah, I guess that's, uh, well, maybe that's how we do things. Remember their courage. We're bringing Candidas back. She's our girl. We may not use her. Alright, let's birth. Let's birth. Give life to our daughters. Do some birthing. Okay. Please guide her well. Alright. We birth two daughters. And then we'll now have one of each. Unleash her on any who stand in her way. That's not what I wanted. Remember their courage. Resurrect. Why does it take me to the cemetery? Because I'm selecting resurrect, not. <laughs> okay. Give life to our. It's very daughters. late at night, people. Bear with me. Generate. Germinate. Okay. Please guide her well. Another shield bearer. Confirm. Now. Unleash her on any who stand in her way. Okay, so we've got a very out of place level four blade master. But that's okay. All right, so we can we can add some memories. What do, what, what, let's, let's check our uh, synapses. We got a challenging hunt. We do not need our level four for that. <laughs> 